If you are not able to capture the clear Paul Gidaiga is a teacher at Kenya's Utawala Academy. For much of his career as a science teacher, he made do with theoretical lessons. Gidaiga says setting up laboratories was out of reach for the schools where he taught. Most of the items that were there, they were only be found in books as diagrams, pictures, and a teacher may not be able even to demonstrate and to show that this is what is being taught in the course book. But the introduction of this mobile laboratory stirred up science lessons and students' research projects. The labs are built from locally sourced materials like timber, are fitted with wheels for mobility, and have solar power for users in schools with limited or no power supply. Schools can purchase the labs for about a thousand US dollars. The manufacturer School Equipment Production Unit, or SEPU, says it's a distinct difference from the nearly 20,000 US dollars it costs to construct and equip a permanent laboratory. I can just adjust the temperature. Students like John Mokaya are often shut out. I got to understand many things, of which in grade 7 we used just to see from the books, but now we can have the real experience, how everything works, and due to this you can be great people in future. Sepo says they are easily adaptable as they are made in Kenya. CEO Joel Mabonga told VOA they are designed with understanding of the local teacher, unlike imports. It understands the, the dynamics of our education. It understands the, the teacher, the teacher training of a Kenyan. Unlike if we've got an innovation from outside, which we need to come and adopt it for the local environment. This is a, a solution that is uh, born from within, and therefore it is going to spur more thinking. And we're even thinking of other, main, other ways that we can be able to improve it. Over 500 mobile labs have been distributed to schools both in rural and urban areas. Schools can pay in installments and get a refill of chemicals needed periodically, sales manager Alan Wetcher says. The mobile laboratory is coming with accompaniments such as the, the microscope. We've got assorted chemicals to be able to support the teachers and the learners to be able to do various experiments. We've got also assorted glasswares. And in terms of uh, safety measures, it is also supplied with a fire extinguisher. Education costs are the most commonly reported financial worry in Kenya and nearly a dozen other sub-Saharan countries, according to the World Bank. But with such innovations, authorities believe that those worries can be lessened. Victoria Amunga, VOA News, Nairobi.